Can Nigeria still breathe under President Tinumbu's administration? We will find out. And in Bayesa State, the battle for the Bayesa State governors intensifies as political parties prepare for the November 11th governorship election in the state. I am Bola Oba, and this is Plus Politics. Nigerians from across the country are lamenting the hardships in the land, crying out for urgent measures by the government at all levels to mitigate their suffering, which they said was becoming intolerable. They want the failure to genuinely tackle the myriad of difficulties and deprivation uh, the citizens are suffering could inflict the consequences on the country in no time. Joining me live in our studio to dissect this is Aki E. Fatunke Esquire. He is CEO of Chronicler and Associates Communications Consultants. Good to have you live in the studio. I'm very happy to be here with you, Bola Oba. And um, I'd like to say good evening. We are in evening time in Nigeria, depending on where. Yeah, you are located. It's a global <laughs> broadcast. It's a global <laughs> broadcast now. People watch live on YouTube, exactly. and, and so the idea of uh, you know uh, the time zone differences. Okay, me, me. but I haven't said that. It's it's good to have you. Um, so state happy. of the nation. I'm so happy to be here. Yes. Let's start with the issue of uh, this yacht. When I read it, it seemed to me like the handlers of the president must have made a major snafu for such a ridiculous line item to make its way into the supplementary, uh, the proposed supplementary budget document. At some point, the presidency came out and denied studied ants. Why would an item make it into the budget when ordinarily, according to one of the presidential spokespersons, uh, that it was not included by the presidency? Then the National Assembly, the lower chamber of National Assembly, the, National House, of, uh, the House of Representatives, claimed that they rejected it and passed it to the student's loan form. And this morning, a prominent senator was on a live TV show and said that, indeed, the vessel or the craft had been delivered and that they only needed to approve the fund to pay for it, that it had been delivered. And one is now left in a situation, or at least Bola Oba is now left in a situation where am I the one who does not understand what it takes? Fortunately, you are a chartered accountant. You, you, you even worked directly with the president in his days at Mobile before. So I'm thinking, am I the one who does not understand anymore the meaning of budgeting? Or has budgeting been taken to another comedic level in the public, uh, in public governance in Nigeria? Please help us. Again, thank you, Bola. And in all what you have said, just, you don't have to be a chartered accountant for you to have common sense. You don't have to be a chartered accountant for you to see red and um, you want to call it some other color. Um, it goes by exactly what it is. Accounting, budgeting is exact. It's either written in English or written in some other language that can be um, interpreted to you and then you have numbers. 
the numbers must tie. The description of what you call in in uh, budget heading, cost accounting heading, management accounting now means uh, um, properly described. Bola, I am going to be very honest with you because at this stage of my life, Mr. President, now what about incompetence is deliberate to do some other rigmarole is yet another thing. I do not believe that we are being properly administered at all levels. I don't know where that fault at the end of the day one is going to be able to situate it. But in private sector, Bola, a thing like this will cause some heads. Toro. Not only rule will not come back. The way it happens is aching to you wanting to fly a plane. The ground troops, the engineers, studied of all the dotting of I's and crossing of T's must be properly done before you take off. Reason being, if you take off, that is not where you are not going to be arguing whether it is A or B or C or D. Anything goes wrong there, even if it is cosmetic. In the first place, the supplementary budget is more than due. Um, we knew we were running into this, labor was going here and there, um, subsidy is gone, it's back, and all that kind of thing. We know that uh, we, are, we are busting at the seams. It is at that point that people begin to put the numbers together. And numbers are developed bottoms up down the line. And when right, the Navy, the Army, whether the budget office itself, whether the chief of staff to the president and all that, will have sifted all through, signed off the document at any point in time. So, Bonaba, if you are going to be giving me a document, you will just give me what you call casting. You use the computer to do the arithmetic. You put some little controls here and there if those numbers are jiving. Totally. And they will not be numbers who just stop slot. It's lit from the bottom's number and what have you. I am constrained to believe that somebody, somebody somewhere, and I don't know who that person is, the only person I know is Mr. President himself. Oh, the box stops on the He has to bear to him, this unquote. can of worms. Uh, I think you trim me a bit under the, uh, under, under the table, and I like it. I like it. I'll tell you why I say I like it. You said I worked with uh, um, Mr. Bola Tinumbu, dead back in mobile. He knows very well that this kind of mistake dare not happen. In those okay. days. It's not possible. It's not going to be acceptable. Now, is it therefore possible, humanly speaking, to make a mistake? Such mistakes will have been detected ever before it got into the presentation of the National Assembly. Well, I am telling you that mistake will have been discovered at much lower level. Yet, is it looking funny? Is that what you mean, um, Mr. President? It, it, it's not because it sends it sends out stars. Mr. Oh. President, if you say it's looking right to you, and I don't think it's looking right, can you put your hand down, paper, that you have said that this is looking right before I finally load it in? It goes through such a level. But when we are talking about insensitivity, there is nothing that you can compare to uh, the kind of trust deficits that, that, that this, this has gone through. Like, if it is now going to be the House of Reps and the Senate that will now begin to juggle around, uh, you know, and then trying to save face. <laughs> no, come on. No, as, no. as an accountant. I am not, I am not, I, 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 I am not, I am not. Let's, so. even put, let's even put aside the fact that you know, you worked for quite a while, a long while, in an IOC, yes, International Oil Company, yes. and 
uh, you people subject yourselves to best practices, right. uh, you know, best of standards in all right. the professions, be it in engineering, be it in accounting, be it in management. Uh, but let's take that aside now. Okay. I was further shocked this morning when a ranking senator of the upper chamber of the Nigerian legislature said that they approved the budget for vehicles to members of their chamber without but without asking for which specific brand and model of vehicle that they were going to use the money to buy that they just approved the money well, uh, uh, maybe it, maybe it's something about me maybe i'm losing my i'm losing my you are sin <laughs> and you're all right you're a headmaster and you know the role of headmasters? Headmasters mark you so harshly that you go out there to fly and nobody can can even find a way to um, to bring you down. Budgeting approved something, well, and yet you said in, in public that you did not bother to link the price to the brand model. You just approved. Well, uh, <laughs> so, the longer short of this, that we are not being administered. We are not being governed. That's the truth. We, isn't that a bit too heavy? It, it, it's not heavy. You're, you're, but that's the result of what we are seeing. Now, it is either the ranking senator, and that's possible, is coming to give us a fee. In other words, he's come to exaggerate. That that's possible. Or he's not exaggerating. He's merely put a mirror to let us look at the way we are. But Bola, I happen to know that in our public and civil service, over the period, me working in private sector and interacting with private with, with public sector, I know quite a number of things that happen that you will never believe can happen. Is that not an embarrassment? No. Without necessarily conceding, Bola that the ranking senator is right or wrong. Don't you think... It's not a case of being right or wrong. It at, was his own account. If you, look at, if you look at the body picture and stuff like that, you know something is amiss. When you have Ali Baba and the 40 thieves, yes, Ali Baba is Ali Baba. The 40 thieves are 40 thieves. But you hardly find any of the 40 thieves going to squeal on Ali Baba and vice versa. They have a way of covering their nest. Something is not going right. And so, what am I going to do? If I'm not getting it my way, I'm just saying, I'll just find a way to, to torpedo it. Okay. To now, perhaps, look right in the in the eyes of the public. But for crying out loud, what do you think happened at the judiciary when the, um, Musa Danijo was leaving? He made some wow. comments, quite right, Jim is not yet out, whether on his way out, he decided to put a bomb on the rest, which means he's been carrying some things that he was not happy about, maybe he's carried for so long, and then the only thing is to do a kamikaze kind of thing. Go out there in the plane, look for a bomb, and let the whole house come down. The bottom line at the end of the day, Bola, is simple. We are not being governed, we are not being ordered, and we are not, we are not structured. It's, it's showing on a regular basis. If what happens in private sector, Bola, that you will never have something like this, if it becomes to, to the fore, you're going to be giving some training down, down the line. And if you cannot ship in, you will have been shipped out. And if you are not fit for purpose, and okay. if you know that you know you don't have Let's, all the honors and you are not trainable, then you get out of. Let's go. I, I I want to tap richly into your pedigree and your antecedents in the oil industry, uh, decades long. Mm. Uh, uh, and please permit me. I'm sitting here now as a Nigerian who who 
exists in a country where my president at his you know while delivering his inaugural speech said subsidy was gone. Um, ordinarily, the following day, the pump price of petrol immediately reflected the re reality of his pronouncement. And along the line, as a result of some international situations and our own, uh, our own cesspit of maladies, I don't know why Nigeria is the only major oil exporting country on the face of the earth that does not have a functional, functional refinery, but that's a topic for another day. It became obvious that the international price of crude kept going up as of today, AGO, that is diesel, that is also equally deregulated, is selling at about 1,300 naira per liter. And yet, petrol is selling average now. If you look at the price in Lagos around 580, look at the price in Yobe around 670 or 700. Somebody was saying yesterday the average now is around 650. So we are in a situation now where NMPC, NMPC, if there is no subsidy, why is that major differential between the pump price of PMS, that is petrol, and that of AGO? Can you help us? Yes, I can help that we are not being told the truth. We cannot be told the truth because... No, we are not being told the truth. Yes. We cannot be told the truth. Because of the dramatis personae in and out. In economics, there is something you call a lag. Lag, too, has its own differential effects on the price you are Prices. selling today or tomorrow. Now, AGO, automotive gas oil, has been deregulated over time. The thing had peaked, tanked. People already have what you can call a backstock that has come in over time. And so you could easily draw a line and say, yes, this is likely to be the demand. This is not what we have with um, petroleum motor spirits. Petrol. Petrol is being speculated and it is highly very political. Unlike AGO that has not been you know, uh, deregulated, suddenly, on um, that has May, not been or has been deregulated for so that long. has not never been deregulated. AGO. No, no P PMS. PMS okay. has not been deregulated. And suddenly, Mr. President now then came and said, "Subsidy is gone. Subsidy is gone." On the ordinary meaning of it, if you look at PIA and if you knew that um, there was no provision, no appropriation for subsidy after 30th of May, of June. Okay, so yeah, after 30th of June. He gave the speech on the 29th of May. It now came, it's like saying, Nigerians, get set. There is no appropriation anymore for subsidy. Subsidy is like gone yesterday. But in public communications, especially in stuff, surrounding policy you must be very 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 careful the way you smile don't forget like i said there's a lot of politics of surrounding pms the smugglers are there the kidnappers are there the bad boys are there the army the navy and every other person is there they already have a bit of a a backlog one of the things they are going to do is to start to hold oh subsidy is gone may 29 if i heard now I know I can always get an increase in price the following day, and so they... Well, even that very afternoon, they, from that very afternoon, some, some uh, filling stations were closing down. That is the way it okay. works, because down the line, the chain, the retail outlets, they have stock, 
and they know this is like a supernormal time for them to make profit. Better don't sell as much as whatever it is so that you can you begin to speculate. Speculation then comes into it. My thinking is that you cannot you cannot by way of a commonsensical reasoning look at AGO look at Jet A1 the one that uh, flipped, and then look at uh, you know um, the, um, kerosene which is which is the, like a sister product to Jet A1 you will naturally notice the prices of those ones will move but yes. it will not be, it will not be as much as you have in PMS. PMS is hot product. It moves and moves along the plot, you know, the cost of, of, of crude. People begin to sit down and speculate. Oh, if the dollar, if the plot, if the cost of crude is going to move in the next two, three, four days, it pays me to just keep whatever it is I want to uh, so, so that when the thing now then moves, there will be a bit of a scarcity and then I'll be able to make a kill. What we don't have generally is that sense of patriotism and sense of uh, what, okay, um, what do you call it now? Um, the, the sense of um, compassion. And when they announce this, the woman selling Ogi will say her Ogi is also linked to dollar and all that. that, that. We Unfortunately, I, I said and done. Unfo unfortunately, I, I, I really have to ask ready. you. I, I really have to ask you this seemingly simplistic question. Yes. All said and done. Yes. Is there subsidy now in the pricing of PMS petrol? I know the answer. You know the answer. Yes. <laughs> but no. But your you you your opinion is. You know the answer. I know the answer. And in between, can pay politics. If it costs you, if it costs you 100 naira to buy a product, to buy a product, you are selling for 80 naira, and you decide that you are going to sell it for 50 naira. <laughs> so tell me, there is a leakage somewhere. Government magic. Government magic. They call blue to red and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Look, okay. So on a much more serious note, government and NMPC cannot face the likes of me and say there is, there is no subsidy. Subsidy is being returned. Shortly, now, now, now. from the back door. It's been returned, perhaps, at a relatively lower level. I was talking to you about stock. If you have plenty of stock, you can now lie to yourself and play and put the price down. The old stock you bought at the friendlier price before, which is a hot cake, remember? Oh, and as oh, soon okay. as that you is have, there, you have also done you have also done me a favor and I think may be helpful to my audience. Okay. And that is the fact that you are basically saying if I if my deduction is right, you are basically saying that subsidy is not only back from the back door, but as it is now, as it is now, uh that is why it is only the NNPC that is still the major importer of petrol. Because no other person can import. The those who are supposed to import, don't forget, remits to, to the Federation account. Don't forget audits and the books are now being opened. They first of all take their own operation costs. And your operation costs will be Bokorai, 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 that will make you to not end by smuggling now. It pays. If I am in control of all these things, I know I can make a lot of money smuggling and I can continue to just smile to the bank while I am borrowing a lot of funds to say that I am, I am the one that is bringing it in. Don't forget, in between, I will go look for contaminated products, bring it into Nigeria, commingle them, you know, you know the story, commingle them. Many that on the high seas, I will have computed my subsidy, fake subsidy on them. I will take my deduction away from. I'm, I'm just telling you the price. No, 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 I, I'll, I, take, I'll take. I'll take a lot of some of these things. You also. I will bring a little here, and then everybody begin to to, to to scramble for it. 
until then the labor will now then say it has to be at this particular price we we run to the right we run to to the left and then the thing will be so scarce we now then say we, we, are, we are going to align the plot is going up anytime the plot goes up it's not a very good tail now you, you there's something you mentioned just now i think we better put that aside there are so many other inefficiencies. Uh, listeners will just be wondering, why we, you will have refineries and all that kind of stuff. We have run all those down. Another subject for another day. Uh, people that say uh, Portaco refinery is going to come up in December and all that. Dangote, Dangote was supposed to have come in. So many other things. The excuse now, I was my, my, the excuse now is that there is no supply of crude. Uh, no, no, they say they have started to supply crude. There is so much opaqueness, there is no much there's so much there is no transparency and transparency international and I think the Fabi Falano had come, he's been on this uh, for quite a while, has come to say, look, we know who these bad boys and bad girls are. But uh, the only challenge is that the bad boys and the bad girls are the ones that are supposed to be policing the whole thing and the ones that are in the, in the corridors, corridors of power. Akei Fatunke, I cannot but bring you back on but your, your wrap up message now on the quality of governments that some of the facts that we have addressed in this very brief session on the quality of governments that needs to be to be put in place for at least a, a modicum of progress, sustainable development to happen. Bola, if you are the father in this house, one of the things that I'll be looking up to is if I can trust you. If I cannot trust you, Bola, even if you have the best of the best intentions, even written in paper, you won't go anywhere. You give me food, you give me three course meal, I will still feel that I don't trust you. The trust deficit in government is huge and wide. And everything, including where we started from, Bola. Yeah, I mean, yachts, uh, office of the first lady, uh, billions, look at the National Assembly, you just mentioned it. Why would anybody believe you? You see, if you told me that there is no food in the house, and I see that you are also cutting your coat. I mean, you are not eating. You are not going out and coming to look rude and profligate. And then asking me to, I will not. And I will not behave like labor. No, no. I want to have my own now too. I know that. So, what we need to do, therefore, in my honest opinion, are low hangers. Look, uh, Bola. The other aspects about. Uh, Fiscal policy, monetary policy, having the keys, spreading tax, the tax net, going into marine, um, you know, economy, going into justice system, and all that is that Nigerians expect my former boss. I'm not ashamed to say that you need to calm down and calm down. Talk to yourself. He, he said yes. I'm going to buy this because if you point at what the ministers are, are going on about on and all that, it's bad. Mr. President, we need to see a bit of seriousness in cost cutting. We need to see a bit of seriousness in you obeying the rule of law. Another opportunity is coming December 15. Well, I hope you know, but I will remind you and I remind Nigerians. The Supreme Court on that day will make a pronouncement on whether Nnam Dikano should be released or not. Whatever the Supreme Court says at that point in time, Mr. Latif Fadbemi, please, that, that's the Attorney General, please look at Bola Tinubu straight in the eyes. Bola, I'm telling you this fact. Back in our days in Mobile, Bola had equal sarcasm. He can tell you to go to blazes. But he cherishes people who tell him the truth. We tell him, look, this thing that you want to do, we don't think it's right. It's going to have some side effects. He can ask you to get out. He will, he will storm out of the room. 
10, 15 minutes later. Okay, the way it goes is, okay, if, if you say we should do this. Fasola says that much about it. If you say this is what we should do. Oh, let's, let's smile. Use wisdom. Mr. Balatinobu, please can you put this down, sign it. It's implemented like yesterday. He will storm out. I'll with him now, but as soon as he reasons around the point you've given him, if he knows that you have given him good wisdom, he'll come back to you, so sometimes apologize, or even if he does not apologize, he will walk, walk your path. He will walk your path. You may even get a promotion. My point is the rule of law. We need to lead by example. Yes, we have over, over bloated. You if throw 45 or 50 people in there. Look, you must, I really must go not the... only deliver, and if you cannot deliver, you ship out. I think Nigeria can still work. I think that work has to start with him. But the element of discipline, discipline, and, and good, good. I think he's listening. As one ship, house cleaning. He needs to clean the house and then make sure he punishes whoever it is has to go. <laughs> and reward those you who tell been, him the truth. You, you, have been a, you are one of the people that is telling the truth by way of what you are, you are asking. And uh, we really appreciate you. God bless we, you. We, we thank you for coming uh, and the sacrifices you made to, to get to our studio. I can't but just uh, you know appreciate you mightily. Thank you. We're going to short thank break. Thank you very much. When we're back, we take on the next segment.